Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another segment of sharing my vintage slash antique ephemera collection with you guys. So I've picked out another few goodies in here so let's get started. The first things that are on top are these little postcards that are from the tourism year of the Americas 1972 and it just shows a bunch of different landmarks I guess in America. So there's Mount Vernon, Washington DC, the Lincoln Memorial, the Liberty Bell on this one. Then this one has Monterey. I'm not entirely sure where that is. The Redwoods, oh maybe it's California as well. Gloucester and the USF Constellation. Then we've got this one which has New York, Hawaii, Alaska, and San Francisco. This one's really awesome. And then this last one, we've got Yosemite Park, Mount Rushmore, Niagara Falls, and Williamsburg. So I just think that these are all so cool to have. And I decided to keep them because I really, really liked the graphics and how they show the different you know, places of tourism. And then on the backs, they look like this. And it says US Airmail, 15 cents. This one looks like Niagara Falls is on the back. Um, I think some of these are blank. Oh no, maybe not. So this one has this, um, the USF constellation on there, but it doesn't have that airmail border. This one has the airmail. It says nine cents. This has the Grand Canyon on it. Beautiful. And then this one is normal without the airmail and has um, US postage six cents and has Monument Valley on there. So it's just really cool to have. I really, really, really like the graphics. Of course, you know which one is my favorite, right? The one with New York on it, of course. And it also has San Francisco, which is pretty cool. I just really like, look at that. That is awesome. But they're just some postcards. Next, we've got this little, I think it's a needle book because it says a stitch in time. And the graphic on there is just so stinking amazing. I love her little dress, her little headband. So cute. And yeah, there were needles in here. And then this is an ad for Life and Casualties Whole Life Policy from um, Life and Casualty Insurance Company of Tennessee. So this is a life insurance paid up to age 75. Oh wow, their life insurance is so cheap. Oh wait death after five you only get paid two thousand dollars when somebody dies dang i mean what year is this from doesn't really say so that must be a lot for the time because if they're saying it's for less than one and a half cents a day that means um two thousand dollars is worth a lot but um this is really nice little ad there and then this gives more information on the pricing so you can own a life and casualty general accident policy which pays for the loss of life so in the first year you are protected for a thousand after 10 years it's two thousand both eyes both hands very specific one hand one foot one eye in one hand one eye in one foot i mean i don't know why it's so so specific but i guess that was um common things that might happen back in the day but um just very interesting to read and to have. I was going to use this in a junk journal, but I just liked it too much, so I just kept it. And then next, we've got this little tag. I think this one fell out of a scrapbook, and it just says, Vote for Nan and Stan. I just really liked that it rhymed, and I think it was um, like a prom king and queen kind of thing, or homecoming king and queen, and um, the girl had put a bunch of the little... Um, uh, signs that people were making to vote for them like the different couples so this was one of the little tags of that um people made for nan and stan so i wonder if they won i'm not entirely sure but it was really cute i really liked how plain it looked it was gonna be great in a junk journal but i really liked it so i kept it in my collection then we've got this pretty pretty little postcard here and it says it is the electric fountain in alcott park in virginia minnesota I guess I don't know but it looks like that's what it says and it's just so pretty it looks like it's like painted it's like a picture of a painted um, little picture oh. 
and um, this is what it says on the back. It says, this is one of the few electric fountains in the U.S. located in a sunken garden in Olcott Park. Beautiful colored illumination nightly. See it in Virginia, Minnesota. So this is what it looks like. And let's see if there's a year. No. But it does say that it is published by David Milavet's News Company, Virginia, Minnesota. Natural color postcard made in USA by... EC Crop Co. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I think it says. So it is a natural color postcard, whatever that means. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the inks that they used are all natural, but just look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So pretty. So I keep that because I just really like the graphic. And then last but not least, I guess this one's going to be a quickie one. Um, I picked up this little map of Long Island and if you guys didn't already know, I am from Long Island, so whenever I see anything Long Island that's like old, I pick up. And and most things that are New York and old, I'll pick up too, but not so much the upstate stuff. But um, this was a map, and it was 60 cents originally. At this little store, it was 54 cents. But um, it has a bunch of stuff in it. Let's see if I can find the year. I don't know, but it is from Hagstrom's Maps and Atlases of Greater New York and the New York Metropolitan Area. So they have the different um, maps that they have available. So they've got for the different boroughs and different parts of Long Island and upstate. Then they've also got New Jersey. They're so cheap. They're only like 50 cents or a dollar. Connecticut, they have special maps. Sorry if the light is reflecting from my window. And then they also have the United States map, world map. So anyways, let's open this up. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's got two maps on the sides. So oh, this is going to be hard. Maybe I should zoom out. So I tried to zoom out as much as possible so you guys can see a lot of the map. But what I really liked about this is the coloring of it. I don't know. It just looked really different. I don't know. I really liked it. But this is what it looks like. It says Hagstrom's map of Long Island, New York. And it's got, you know, the little, it's a, it's a map <laughs> of New York. So I just really like it. I like how it looks. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see it up close. But I just really liked how the colors looked and the different fonts. It just, it was a pretty map. So I picked it up. I was going to pick it up regardless because it's Long Island. But I just really, really liked how it looked. And it's just so cool seeing, you know, familiar places and seeing home on a old little map. And then on this side, we've got the rest of Eastern Long Island on here with the like the little fork and the Hamptons and Montauk and all that good stuff. So this is what it looks like. And then they've got some of the parks written down here, some of the cities, towns, and places. Up here we've got the airports and landing fields and here we've got the golf and country clubs and over here the yacht clubs making it sound so bougie <laughs> but um, you guys know Long Island there are some very very bougie places obviously in Long Island but yeah that is it for this little sharing of my ephemera this time around I'm sorry if this one I rushed through but um I'm filming quite a few today, so just wanna, you know, get on through them. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely leave a like below and subscribe so you can see the future ones that I post. And you can also check out the cards above in the description box below. I'll have the playlist where I shared all the previous ones before this one there. So yeah, definitely go check those things out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.